These are the blocks that are going to be building the chapel. All of the sand and concrete we bring in is brought in by the ox cart that you see in the background. These are the men that are putting the concrete together to make the blocks. As you enter the front gate at the hospital, this is what you will see. This is the chapel. Walls all up. Ring beam in place. We're waiting for the containers so we can then put in the beams. We have lifted it as high as we can with the vehicle. Now we will hand lift it into place. <laughs> This is to show you the progress that we're making now, putting on the purlings, things are moving right along. Yesterday we finished putting the plywood on and today we're starting to put the metal roofing on. Well, today we're starting to plaster the inside of the chapel. We've continued building the wall that separates the two rooms behind it. Well, this is the final day. We're ready to leave. I want to take a few shots of the chapel so you can see what we have completed. They've done a great job. This is the beginning of the infectious ward building at Iambe. We're digging footings. This is part of the 30-man crew, which we have hired in the last two days. Okay, we are got the first pour in the infectious ward building under control. Second pour going to be today. Third pour, then tomorrow. This is the mixing so concrete at the infectious ward building. All the concrete is mixed by hand. This is how much we got done by the 15th of April. The inside walls, the outside walls, the wall that I'm standing next to is all the way up to the ring beam.
This is Prefecture's board building. Go from There's only two of these men are being paid. The rest of them are all volunteers. They will be able to start pouring footings within a day or two. Here we are at the lepers compound. First building has a roof on it. That building is a hundred feet long. This is the inside of the building. And this will be a living unit for the caretaker. <laughs> this is the living unit in the leprosy building. This is the first unit that's going to have a floor. This year, that's the only unit that will have a floor. Sunflower seeds. Now they'll harvest sunflower seeds. This will be the first time in their life that they've been able to have their own crop. This is the outside of the classroom for the nurses that we built last year. And now I'll show you the inside. This is the inside of the classroom. Ceiling will be finished today. We need to finish building and uh, pour toilets and shower. We're in the village of King Yambuli and they have a well here that is broken, the pump is broken 
and they are drinking this water. This is where they're gathering water, children, mother. This is the water they have to drink. This is a well that's three quarters of a mile from the village. If they do, if we can get this well working, then they will have clean water. It's a deep well, as opposed to drinking the dirty water out of holes. Now, they will have no water once that gets dry. Right now we're in the rainy season, so the, the little holes have water. They would we're now working on fixing the well. That's the welder that's going to go down in the back of a bicycle. We're taking the generator to run the welder down to the well. This well is about 85 feet deep. It has water year-round. We have water. Five trips, a million shillings, and we are successful. Normally there will be about 20 or 30 five gallon buckets to be filled each morning and each afternoon so that everyone in the village will have water. Fresh water. No more water coming out of a black hole. This is the library at the elementary school. We now have concrete floor poured. The walls have cement on them, plastered. 